A state of emergency has been declared. I have literally just jumped out of a plane with my parachute, landed here in the studio, voice still cracked, Adam's in disarray. He was banging his head against the wall, yelling and screaming because a ban list has been dropped. They dropped the ban list on a Saturday during uh, like a nationals and it's it's been pandemonium. So <laughs> we're not gonna address the ban list. We're just gonna talk about our favorite changes. So instead of live reacting, we thought it would be funnier to just like nominate some of the worst changes, best changes, and uh, the weirdest changes to this the, list. Yeah, <laughs> and there, is, trust me, there's something. We also have a few honorable mentions, but uh, let's head into it. And if you like this, we would love for you to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, click, do it, little comments, and tell me how much you ate any of the cards that we mentioned. Or how happy you are that decks are dead. Best change on the list by far, 100%, is the banning of Diablo System Mind Hacker. So you have not yet got to deal with Cash Tier at Master Duel. My mind has not been hacked yet. <laughs> but uh, it, it will be. Diablo is getting banned is my pick, right? For the best change on this list, solely because despite playing Cash Tier a lot myself, the card was unhealthy. Uh, it was unfair and unfun. Being able to rip your pawn's deck apart in a way that you can't interact with the cards you rip out, being able to get knowledge of what your pawn is playing before their turn by looking at their extra deck, as well as just also being able to facilitate Shangri Era's five zone lock meant that the card was toxic. And that man, that toxic man, just like all the toxic men in your life, has now been removed from the game. Get rid of them. You don't need them anymore. Agreed, it's not important. Adam. Right? He's gone. And that's my nomination for best change. <laughs> you're that people, Adam, Adam's here for you. You're, he's like, you're like the date doctor. <laughs> I'm not toxic, I swear. I mean, after my pick for best card, I don't know if you could say the same thing about me, but I think that some Sarah Lotus being freed is uh, a great change. I like it more as a gesture than I like it as the actual card. A goodwill kindness removal from the banned yeah. list. <laughs> like it was like just banned completely and they were like, you know what? Oh yeah, that, yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> like, and it, it gives me hope for like, you know, them releasing future cards. Orcus, I'm looking at you, hard horror, but you know. Uh, apart from that, I feel like, like back in the day, like it was a fun combo, like with Trickstar and some Zerologes, like doing some shenanigans. It was like a loopy thing. I don't particularly enjoy burn decks and OTKs, but I feel like it just enables some creativity and like out of the box thinking and like some, yeah, deck building that I'm like, I'm, ha I'm happy they, they allow this. And it's a plant. We always need new plant support. So, you know what, that's not a bad pick. Worst change by far on this list is why would you unban Denlong, the first Yangtze? Is it, okay, is Denlong legal in Master Duel? Yeah, that's the, the dragon that like, yeah, Sword Soli kind of. Oh, uh, okay, Denlong being released is silly, right? Because Denlong lets you do whatever it wants. Denlong, does whatever Dang 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 Long doesn't care. Danglong doesn't even. Danglong is like the honey badger of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> it sets up an omni negate. It sets up like more synchro plays. Itself is a tuner, which means you can just use it to go into bigger synchros after you get the counter spell, right? But also, really cool thing as well is that like it can just special summon any Yang Zing from the deck when it's sent from the field to the graveyard. Not like by effect or anything, just by using it as a synchro material even. So it's great for synchro climbing. I was gonna say, like, is, synchro, is that a danger? Is that an actual threat? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now? Okay. It's not good. <laughs> I, I don't think that like they should have unbanned this card. I think it's too good for it to like ever come off the list. My pick is, okay, so first of all, I have an honorable mention for this uh, because I looked at the ban list and was like, what the hell is a pure leaf? <laughs> and, um, and then I, 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 I Google it and I found out what a pure leaf is and I was instantly in love. And I was like, <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, well, they so... took his memories now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They took his memories, but they... he's got amnesia. Yeah, he took the memories before the memories were like even made. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just, like, just like your frontal lobe, just like, boop, <laughs> Just like, okay, thanks. I, I can't guess. believe they lobotomized the small cat creature. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but like, okay, my actual pick, I'm gonna be controversial here again, but it's uh, Sky Striker, like the engage. It's it not because it does it, it's fine. It's what? I, I don't mean, think that's the worst pick. I think yeah, that's not like, I know why isn't like, I think that's actually mm. a no. I think you're valid. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's the first. But... <laughs> 
I think I think this is a moment where we're like like right now we're like ah, it's fine and sky strikers are fun and they're cool and then I I like I let's talk again in like a few months or something. I don't like sky strikers. <laughs> Uh, I, I I like them, but a skilled Sky Striker player can ruin my day, or my like my entire week possibly, because it's just it's such a it's just the toolbox of it all. It's just so annoying. Just can counter anything, and like I I feel like I'm too stupid to do anything against it. Um, so yeah, two engagers is a thing that in the uh, OCG is uh, valid, and I don't like it. But you know, the list yeah. was in general, kind of like surprising in a few ways. Uh, for me, the- First of all, coming out on a weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was surprising. Like, yeah, it was very consistent in being surprising. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like timing, surprising. <laughs> Red Lotus, surprising. One that surprised me the most was Cyframe Gear Gamma, just because, not not because it was up there, but just because it was like from, oh yeah, it's completely fine to like, <laughs> Nope, just one. <laughs> one is enough. That I, I felt like it's kind of, kind of random and a little just very straightforward. And I'm not used to that from Konami ban lists so far. I you thought just, drawing like, driver was bad when you had three copies of Gamma. Good luck drawing driver now. You'll probably just get both of them in the same hand. It's like. Uh... <laughs> Is it not confusing to you? Do, you? do you think? I get why they got rid of Gamma, but at the same time, I'm very much like, it is weird, like whatever. It, does, it didn't feel like super oppressive, uh, and it hasn't for a long time. I mean, it time. is it's great really fun either. Good. But like... It's really good, but I guess leaving it at one means that side frames can still search it. So here's to you, all the side frame players, all Two of you, I suppose. Like. <laughs> All two of you get on your uh, on your little on your, on your little roller roller skater with with, <laughs> with your omegas. But like, yeah, what do you think? Uh, what was your most confusing? Uh, I thought gamma scene? was weird to one. I didn't expect that at all. Like once again, I get it. I, I understand. It's it's one of those cards where it's like you can win the game off of it entirely by destroying their monster and negating their effect. You know, usually you have to pick between the two with hand traps. Like with you get ghost ogred or you get ashed. You know, there's a big. You don't get both. It's very rare you get both. And in this case, you, gamma did a lot. But that's not my weirdest pick. Uh, my weirdest pick by far is absolutely semi-limiting Lightning Storm, right? And there was a couple of other ones I could have picked, but semi-limiting Lightning Storm makes no sense. First of all, <laughs> Lightning Storm wasn't good this format. Second of all, who molds because they got Lightning Stormed? You know, just put your <laughs> monsters in defense, bro. It's not like that. Like, Rageki's almost better sometimes. And I understand, it's probably good for like spell and trap decks, which we obviously have Labyrinth. So, yeah, I get me. Maybe they're trying to push Do Labyrinth because Labyrinth yeah. was not hit on the list at all, may I point out. Labyrinth is just like fine and free. It's probably not going to be I mean, they did get rid of um, a pointer. So, yeah, but it... Labyrinth wasn't really using a pointer. They, they were weren't? using Not really. No? They were using Why not? annoying skill they drain, have. That's fun. gate stuff and uh, some of the, oh. you know, Ikea builds. I still think Lightning Storm to 2 builds. is really weird. I don't get it. I'm never going to understand uh, it. Especially not to 2. Like, even, like I, I, like, I feel like putting things from 3 to 2 in a way is like just, you know, it's like, okay, 3 is too consistent, but 2 is kind of okay. And yeah. like, is, was Lightning Storm a consistent threat? Like, were <laughs> people like playing their boards to be like, no, not oh, Lightning wait, Storm. I'll just hold back on half of my combo yeah. because you never know no. if the Lightning Storm is oh. <laughs> around the corner. It's weird. Like, almost like, why not hit Dark Ruler 9 up? Like, Rageki's at 3. And I guess it's the versatility and consistency of lightning storm at three but we have triple tactics thrust now it doesn't matter we have ways to search it i don't really see the point of this one guys i'm not gonna lie that makes sense i'm with you there but in in general what do you think about the banners i'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, but I feel very consequential and very, actually in a loss of words for it because uh like su like surprising but not like surprising like surprising toxic where it's like just we just eradicated an entire archetype because we're, we were kind of like did an oopsie or whatever but like <laughs> it's kind of like thought through i feel like i really think that this ban list was actually well crafted to be frankly honest i really liked everything about it i think some things are weird uh, i think Dang Long coming coming off is, is not good 
But I really liked everything else. All the main decks can still play. They just got a lot of consistency hits and a lot of like, hey, you know, Samurai, Super Heavy Samurai went what, from a one card combo to a two card combo. Uh, Purely is now a little hampered until uh, Duelist Nexus. And Cash Chira has had a lot of its like ceiling brought down by removing a Rise Heart or at least its grind game. But like you can still do everything you want to do except for the degenerate five zone lock. So <laughs> honestly, I think this ban list Good job, Konami. Well done. With well, that being said, that's our breakdown of like the best changes for the ban list. Like, we're not going to go into too much of the detail, but like, who do you think was more right, me or Leone? Uh, we're yeah. Gonna a poll. Yeah. Like, let us know. Let us know what is your best uh, best change, worst change, or like the most confusing one. The most confusing one is like one of the most interesting. Yeah, ones I want to know what but... everyone was confused by. What got you going? You know, you know monkey scratch brain. Like, <laughs> I, I, it's just yeah. Until next time, guys. We'll see, see you ya. around. <laughs>